Ever downloaded an EA and had no clue where to put it? Or worse, you installed it, but it did not show up in your MetaTrader platform. Yes, I've been there, and I wasted hours on YouTube and internet trying to figure it out. So let me save your pain through this video. This is a step-by-step -step guide on how to install an MT5, run an expert advisor on it. We'll do it together in less than five minutes. Here's what you'll learn at the end of this video. Where exactly to install your EA, how to check if it's running properly, and how to avoid those sneaky setup mistakes that throw in performance. Let me take you back in time. I remember my first EA ever. It was five years ago. I saw an ad on Instagram. It looked amazing. I thought it was the holy grail. So I bought it, downloaded the file, and then nothing. I had no idea what to do next, no instructions, no clear videos, just a bunch of forum threads that made it worse. That's why I'm making this video. I wish someone had given me something like this from day one. All right, let's get into the steps. So a few assumptions here that you downloaded already the setup file from your broker. In that case, I'm using FBS for MetaTrader 5. I also assume that you downloaded the EAs from your vendor, regardless which vendor you're using to provide you with the EAs. And the broker should uh, send you an email with the um, account number, the password, and the server. And sometimes you can just log into the broker account and basically you will be able to fetch all this information. So just double click on the setup file and we will just for the sake of simplicity, we're not going to navigate these just next. It usually takes a minute or something, and then you will have your MetaTrader installed on your PC. Finish. And that's it. Let's close this window and the account. So you right click add an account. In that case, because it's the uh, setup file from FBS, you will find FBS markets as a default. You press next. And then you type in the information of the account. Just copy and paste. Same for the password. And it's already FPS demo in the server. And we click finish. We will hear this funny sound. And then you will have your account installed on the MT5. Now the second step is to install the EA itself. And it's a very simple, straightforward process. Let's install these two EAs in one go. You just select them, copy, you go to your terminal, go to file, open data folder. You'll find many folders here. You just click on the MQL5 and the experts, and you just paste it. That's it, very simple. Then you go back to the terminal, you go to expert advisor, you just place your mouse anywhere, right click, and refresh. The moment you do that, you will find your EAs installed on your terminal. Very simple, very straightforward. Now we need to make sure that the EAs are working properly. So let's close these charts. Let's take the Euro USD for instance. And usually the MT5 default chart is going to look like this. Then you can just change the layout the way you want by right click properties, and that's it. So what do we do next when it comes to the EA? We just take the EA and drag it to the chart. Once you drag it, you will find the common and the inputs. And this is where you find all the inputs of the EA itself. And of course, when you buy or get an EA from a vendor, you would expect to have proper explanations to all these settings. You want to make sure that this is clicked as on and okay. 
Now, when you look into the chart, you will find the, the EA name here with, the, with this graduation hat. Some EAs will have the panel. Some EAs doesn't have panels. It depends, again, on the vendor. You need to consult the vendor and the manual uh, coming with the EA. But when the hat is dimmed as such, that means that it's not working. It's not active. So how to navigate this? Basically, you need to make sure that this is turned on. And once it's turned on, the hat becomes blue. And this is where you know that the EA is working properly. Now, in my EAs, I use status in the panel that shows me as well whether it's running or not. And again, it depends on the, the vendor and the EA that you are getting from. Few things that you need to take care of, which is basically going to the options and the tab of the expert advisor. You want to make sure that this is allowed. These are not mandatory. It's totally up to you. We can discuss this later in later videos on the advanced settings when it comes to MetaTrader 5. And also, you might need to allow DLL imports. Again, depends on the vendor of the EA. Some EAs have these DLL files. And hence, you need to allow these DLLs. Now that you've installed your MetaTrader 5 and the EA on it, you're probably asking yourself, is this going to make money right away? Well, that's a very big question. Don't guess. There is a formula for that. Watch the next video on how to backtest and optimize your EAs on MetaTrader 5 for optimum performance. See you there.